Hello and welcome, Jumbo. It is Earth Day this week and even though we cannot go to Animal Kingdom currently, we can still visit it again in the past. And back in 1998, they made another musical adventure, a sing-along song, a Flix musical adventure to promote A Bug's Life, but also promote Animal Kingdom. It's one of my favorite films that they've done and I thought it'd be really cool to jump back in and rewatch it with all you guys. Let's spend a day with Flick and his friends. This is one of my favorite openings. Even though this is the most recent of the sing-along songs they've done, I love the direction they took of it. And this is my favorite rendition of The Circle of Life. I have not been able to find it anywhere, and I wish I could, because I just love how peaceful, how inspiring it is, and we really need this right now. And we go! Flix Musical Avenger at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hello! Hello! <laughs> no, that's not me. No, you have to go a little more to your right. No, no. Uh, he's that's a not little elephant. Long nose. No, no. Further to your right. Further to your right. No, there they. Oh, now, now he's a little long of neck. <laughs> You're finding the tree. Look for the tree. Uh, no, that's not a tree. Find the tree. There you go. You found the tree. You're just in time. We're about to leave this cozy hill and head out on a wild expedition unlike anything you've ever seen. And ants usually don't brag. Well, are you ready? Great! Then grab your knapsacks, because we're going on a musical safari right here in Disney's Animal Kingdom! Never forget Harambe. Our first stop is Africa. More kinds this is of one of my favorite things. Hope you I am obnoxious film. about it, you and I take a picture every time, right and it and was just a meme right. meet in heaven. But also, never forget Harambe. Jumbo, <laughs> Die for us. Hello, Minnie. Let's take a peek at our first adventurers. Yeah, that's cool. And I should take that and She's make that a thing on my next trip. She's enthusiastic about everything. A photo safari. Great. And I just got a new camera. Kalina loves taking pictures. Oh, and she always I love the old Aldi. You can take a picture of me. That's Thea. Always wants to be the center of attention. Come on. And Joshua. He must have tried on at least 20 hats before he picked that one. And you can buy that at the gift shop today. I think they actually still sell that hat, though. Legit. <laughs> Welcome! This is Harambe, a modern-day East Harambe. African village in the animal kingdom. Harambe means coming together in Swahili, one of hundreds of languages spoken in Africa. I love the song. I really do love the song. But like, it makes things so much better with being around me. So in, in realistic in reality, in seriousness, they're basically saying coming together, welcome, when they say Harambe Jumbo. So it is educational. Hey, a couple of pill bugs told me there was another parade down by the bridge. Follow me. This parade isn't there anymore. This is the first parade that they had in Animal Kingdom. And I think it ended around like 2005. I'll look this up. I 
Just kidding. It ended in 1999, so it only lasted for a year. You see, we can get the big picture by using this map. It's easy to follow, just kind of hard to fold up when you're done. Oh yeah, I can't From make you mini. Before Pandora was a thing. To see what we can find. I love Disney now, history. The savannah is home to the world's greatest wealth of wildlife. And this guy represents us. I mean you, the, the human explorer. You're an animal too, you know. Well, I guess we should be rolling on. Oh, <laughs> he beat us to it. Shh, we're on the Pangani Trail now. And it's a real jungle out there. Oh, I mean, just scream. Jungle oh, humor. Oh my, Harambe! look at those gorillas. They look kind of scary, but they're real They're all Harambe. Gentle. I love it. Sometimes they wear big leaves on their heads like hats. And their cousin, the orangutan, likes to dress up too. Let's take a closer look. I wonder what happened to those costumes. Because I've never seen them. It was probably just for this, but I'm still am curious to see if they ever made really rare meet and greets with them. I wonder if I can recreate this dance, if it'll, if I can find a quiet area when I go back. And I'll do this dance. Because I've already recreated some of the stuff from here. I'll go on the bridge like that too. Half the time when I'm on that bridge, I always end up quoting Charlie the Unicorn. This scene. This is the scene. I've done it. That board is still there, and I love that that board is still there. Two arms, two legs, ten fingers. Hmm, she looks a little like you, but much hairier. <laughs> Let's head over to a place where we can see some animals that roamed the earth millions of years ago. Let's land USA. USA. Let's check out one of my favorite of places in the animal kingdom it's as well. Brachiosaurus. Wow! All the way from the Cretaceous period. Come on, gang! <laughs> Give me a dance with us, ready? You can't go in there anymore. Right, I forgot because this was during the very beginning of it when it was countdown to extinction instead of dinosaur. So you that area doesn't exist. And I would love to go in there. I'm very sad now. I have a big head and tiny arms. Talk about a design flaw. They must have had a lot of time on their tiny little hands. Of course, I'm talking about bugs Hate like me. This part. <laughs> Here, let me show you some of my home movies. And no laughing, please. They just change. It's a small world to it's a bugs world. Not anymore. Now it's Marvel Land. No, you're in. Wait, it's Marvel Land oh, City. Wait. Can jump up to Wait, I never the noticed that body. before. The same jump for a human <laughs> would be half the length of a football but, field. But like, come Whoa. on. Why you gotta be bad about Atlantic City energy. now? He goes to sleep in I love a that place. And wakes up as a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I mean, this uh, is the one thing Francis. I do love. Oh, he's from the Bronx. Yo, oh, yeah. Doesn't mean he's a lady. Northeast no represent. I mean, sir. Hey, not bad for a passport. Well, I was saying, was, I, I really do brag, love how creative like they've got in with these transitions. That you have so much unique animation in this 
Here at and you learn so much. We're able to go from Africa to Asia in a matter of minutes. Neat, huh? Let's head over to the Maharaja jungle track. Ooh. Camera's ready? But see, even camera? here in the Maharaja, I don't know when they got the bats, but the Maharaja jungle track is where you find your bats. It's AKA a my favorite animal, which I have been very disappointed because the last couple of times that I've gone, they have not been around. So they're gonna show some tigers here, but I don't remember if they show my bats. I'll be happy if they do. I do love how they are able to show off all of these details that they've done. Now they're still there, but normally when you go through now, it's always so crowded, so you really don't get to appreciate it. And I really love rewatching this because I feel like now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna really take my time and just appreciate all the decor that they've done. There's our tigers. There's my my sign. Look at my bass. Half the time I can't find the dragon anytime I go there. They are really great at camouflage. I'm totally recreating all this. I'm totally recreating this entire scene. Yeah, they only show the tiger and the dragon. On the sign, they say tigers, dragons, and bats. Also, the largest and most powerful mm. of the big Always cats. disappointed. And unlike other cats, they love to swim. Just look at that dog paddle. And that's a Komodo dragon. They can grow to be almost 10 feet long and weigh about 200 pounds, with tails so strong they can stand on them. What a great party trick! And this little guy <gasps> is a fruit bat. Some fruit bats have wingspans of up to six feet. They can eat up to three times their body weight in a night I love and up to 600 bats. bugs an hour. <gasps> They're so cute. I love them so much. Hey Dominique, you haven't taken a picture. They're just yet. little bird puppies. And I love them and I want to hold them so badly. Congratulations! That's the winning okay, picture. Okay, this is why I love this video. <laughs> you see, sometimes man is the most dangerous animal of all. If he's not careful, some other species of animals can pay the price. Like the black rhino we saw today, who's tracked down by poachers for his horn. Or the African elephant, who's sometimes hunted for his valuable ivory tusks. Or the Asian tiger. All of us living on this planet, from the smallest ant or blade of grass, to the tallest giraffe, depend on each other's cooperation to survive. So, for oppressed animals everywhere, it's up to all of us to learn how to conserve our resources, care for our environment, and protect the many different creatures we live with on this incredible planet we call Earth. I mean, that's the most important thing. I do love the message that they are about education and conservation. We need to save the animals. And I think, in a sense, we're doing that uncontrollably now. I love the way they end this because I do love the song. It's from the Broadway version of The Lion King. the fear of a child and I love my mother he lives in you he lives in me he watches over everything we see into the We have the circle life one more time. I just, uh, oh. I was always inspired watching this. I think it's so important, and it just is a great celebration. So 
that was Flick's Musical Adventure. Like I said, I love this film. I love the changes that they've done throughout the years, especially comparing to the previous ones that we've seen before. And I think this one wraps everything up perfectly. You have your entertainment, you have your education, you have your advertising for Animal Kingdom because it was brand new as well as The Bug's Life because it was a brand new film. But I think they do it in such a genuine way where they're not shoving it down your throat. They are really showing off what they've done and they are focusing on the message. They're focusing on conservation and education of everything that Animal Kingdom was built on. And I love this park so much. I, it's so peaceful. It's it's peaceful, it's adventurous at the same time. And I miss it so much and I wish I was there celebrating Earth Day because my original plan was to be down in Orlando this week and being there for Earth Day in Animal Kingdom. But I've been there before. There's always next year. We'll get through everything together and I think what we're going through is a healing period right now for these animals and the message that has you've just seen that we've just seen really reflects that. So we just have to keep positive and everything will work out very soon. I'm serious. It is my goal to go back to Animal Kingdom and to recreate half of these scenes that we've just seen in here and make a new video for it. But until then, I hope you guys have a magical day and I will see you real soon.